Welcome. My name is Kestrel Michaud, and I am one of the 84 artists who has a quilt on display with this year's Quilt National 21. Although I've been an artist for almost two decades, I'm relatively new to the world of art quilting. I thought Quilt National was just another quilt show when I submitted my entry. It's not. Last fall, after getting my own acceptance letter and seeing the reactions of some of my fellow artists who had also been juried into the Quilt National 21, just their honor and elation at having been accepted, I realized I was missing something. So I set out to make this video to show what it was like to attend the Quilt National opening reception, talk to my fellow quilt artists, and ultimately find out what this show was all about. Quilt National is a biennial art quilt show hosted and organized by the Dairy Barn Arts Center in Athens, Ohio. As a first time visitor to the Arts Center, I didn't initially realize that the entrance is in the back of the building on the side facing away from the brick road. That's where I was on Friday, May 28, 2021. We are here outside the Dairy Barn in Athens, Ohio. It's almost four o'clock, so we're waiting just a few more minutes before we can go inside and see the exhibit. One reason the Quilt National is such a high level show is because it's known for exhibiting kind of the state of the art quilt. And what I mean by that is Quilt National promotes quilt making as an art form and not just a craft. So I fully expect to see some entries tonight that are not anything like a traditional three layer quilt with front batting and backing. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna see some cool stuff. And I just wanted to, to comment because we are in a pandemic that I am delighted that Quilt National is even happening at all is an in-person event. I've not been able to attend an in-person quilt show in more than 14 months, and many quilt shows were canceled over the last year because of the pandemic. So the fact that I have an in-person show to attend, let alone that it's Quilt National, is very exciting. But we are in a pandemic still, even in May. So masks are a fact of life, and everyone inside is going to be masked up. This is the entrance of the exhibit, seen from inside the show. It opens into the center of the exhibit hall, and the show is displayed throughout the long, skinny room on either side of the main doors. After doing my own perusal of the quilts on display, I got to talk to two of my fellow exhibiting artists. So, introduce yourself. I'm Barbara Alder Hartman. I'm from Flower Mound, Texas. Nice to meet you, Barbara. Yes. And Barbara has been in Quilt National before. Yes. How many times have you exhibited before? Uh, this is my seventh. Your seventh time? Yes. Wow, you're a... You're a regular. Well, you know, over <laughs> many, over five decades. Oh, okay. So it's been spread out. It's spread yes. out. I've been one of the lucky ones. So why is, why Quilt National? What, what know, amount of makes you well, want to there's a couple of things. First of all, the prestige of it. I mean, it's, you know, um, back in the 80s, it was the only really art quilt, you know, big show just dedicated to original work. And, you know, it's kept that prestige over the years. But every other year, I make sure that I have my entries ready. And it's kind of a deadline thing. Like, <laughs> you're working toward a deadline. And I know it's coming. And so then when I get rejected, I have work for the other shows <laughs> next year, too. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. Viewers, who you are. Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Ross. I live in New Hope, Pennsylvania. And this is your second time this exhibiting is, in Quilt National. It is. I was in Quilt National two years ago in 2019 with the second in this series of pieces, and this is number 13 in the mutation series. So your other one was number 12? Two. Number two. Oh, okay. Two. I've been busy. <laughs> I'll say. I'll say. So why Quilt National? What makes this show so special for you to enter and then attend the in-person event? Well, 
I had a chance to see a few quilt nationals before I got in a few years ago, and I always admired the variety of pieces that were in the show. And it's one of the first shows that I had ever heard of. And as it turned out, two years ago was the first time that I was ever dragged into a show at that quilt national. So it, I happen to be working on a large body of work, and I love this piece, and another one that's kind of a companion piece to it. So I entered the two, and it, it timed out fine with the quilt national deadline. So that was mainly the reason. I had a piece ready. So I could do it. Well, thank you for being with us today, Michael. You're welcome. Around 45 minutes after the exhibition opened, chairs were added to the open central area in preparation for the presentation of awards. This evening looks very different than it normally does, primarily because the public is not yet here. However, in just a moment, the public will be joining us on YouTube Live, or Premiere, and they will be watching the awards ceremony live with all of us. So you all get to get a feel for who the awards are going to this evening. Um, and the countdown is up there, so just in a couple of minutes. We watched the pre-recorded award ceremony on the projector screen that night. But if you'd like to see it for yourself, it's available on Quilt National's YouTube channel. There's a link in the description. And the award ceremony video took place about halfway through the reception. So afterwards, I had time to catch up with two other artists. Robbie, I met you earlier today. We had lunch together, but please introduce yourself for our audience. I'm Robbie Eklo. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. And you're it's my quilt. This is your quilt. You're a quilter and teacher, right? That's true. Yes. Are you teaching this summer with Quilt National? No. No. Okay. <laughs> That's a new thing, I think. Oh, is it? This is my first time to Quilt National, so I'm learning as we well, go. I hope you return faster than. <laughs> so, um, you've you've exhibited multiple times. So when? Yes. How many times have you exhibited, and when was the last? last this time? is the second, and the first time was 2001. Okay. And then, I well, before I got in 2001, I submitted twice, and then the third time was a charm. Okay. And then in the intervening 20 years, I <laughs> submitted three times more, and again, the third time was the charm. So it's. So what was your incentive for entry? Like, why quilt national? Well, quilt national is really the mother of all the art quilt exhibits, and I feel that when you get into quilt national, it's almost. They're not taking classes, classes per degree, but it's almost like getting a master's degree in art quilting, I think. To get into the exhibit? Yeah, yeah. And most people who are art quilters, if you say I've been in quilt national. It resonates. But, yeah, it has I, mean, I don't go around and say I've been in quilt national. <laughs> but when people have asked me what I'm doing this week, it's like, oh, I'm on my way to quilt national, you know, so they should know. It's just, it's a good thing to brag about. <laughs> it is. So you plan to continue entering in the future? Yeah, and hopefully I'll get in again before 20 years. There were a lot of years when I would just look at my stuff and go, no, this isn't going to be good enough. Or I didn't want to finish it by the deadline. So instead of rushing, you say, Nick, we'll try next yeah, time. Yeah. So the, this one took a couple of years to make, and it was finished in time, so I submitted it. And you got in? I don't know of any other artist who would go up and, and just pluck threads off I would not, their work, but it's such I would a never quilter thing to any, do. I would never touch anybody else. But it's different when it's your own. I, well, thank you for talking with me today, you. Robbie. It was lovely to meet you. It's we had a great lunch. <laughs> we did. Deborah, we just met. Could yes. you please introduce yourself for our viewers? Yes, hi. My name is Deborah Fell, and the piece behind me is my work in this year's uh, Court National 21. It's called Faces in Cages, and the original intent was to focus in on the border crisis in our own country as a follow-up to um, a couple of other pieces that I've made. I, I've been working on a social justice series for about 30 years. So, so why Quilt National? Why submit this piece to this show? Well, I think Quilt National is one of the most important uh, venues out there for art quilts. And I, I think that because of Quilt National, I think that the art quilt movement started to, you know, become, you know, solidified. It was out there. And so 
this history. It's like we're walking around in, in history. And I do remember, I think I saw pictures from the first Quilt National, and they still had flies in here, and they had the troughs. And I just think that's, it, it, and what it's grown, what it's grown into is so amazing. So I just find it such a great honor. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to talk to me today. Thank you. At the end of the night, I finally had a few minutes to spend with my own quilt, Morning Commute, before leaving for the night. So we are leaving the Dairy Barn Art Center and we're on our way down to the Ohio University Inn and Conference Center for the banquet. So I'll see you soon. Does everybody feel all warm and fuzzy? <laughs> Do you all realize how historic this quote national is? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the amazing impact of the show, walking through the gallery, representing a very specific part of our history. I realize that not, not every quote in the show is about COVID, right? Which we're all living. There's lots of other topics. There's lots of other really important topics as life goes. But the holistic nature and the representation of this part in our history is going to be really, really incredible, I think, to the people who see it this time around, people who see it for the next two years as it travels, and people who look back at this exhibition and look through the catalog wondering, you know, what was art representing? in 2020. It's just it's completely remarkable and mind-boggling to me. And I wanted to just make sure to thank all of you for being brave enough to submit in such a wild year <laughs> um, and for creating art and continuing to create art. It's just thank you for that. Thank you. After Leah's presentation, our meals were served. There's a lot of fake vaccines. And that's my dinner. So I'm going to sign off for now. Enjoy the rest of my food, and that's the rest of the event for the night. The next day, I went back to the dairy barn for two more interviews. I'd been able to talk with fellow quilt artists during the opening reception, but now I wanted to get viewpoints from two people on the other side, people who were involved with coordinating and sponsoring the Quilt National Show. Good morning! We are outside the dairy barn. It's the day after the opening of Quilt National, and I am here with Holly Idol. I say that right? Yes. Hello. Good. <laughs> and you are the director of Quilt National? Yep, Quilt National Director and Exhibitions Director here at the Dairy Barn. Here at the Dairy Barn. And she is taking a few moments of, out of her very busy day to talk to us about Quilt National, the show. So, Holly, what is Quilt National from someone on the inside? <laughs> sure. Quilt National was founded by the Dairy Barn Arts Center in 1979, and it is the longest running quilt, contemporary quilt exhibition in the world. Um, it's a biennial exhibition that features the best and newest in contemporary quilt every two years. That's very cool. Yeah, that is very cool. And I'm honored to be a part of it this year. It's very exciting. So why, in, in your words, because I've, I've talked to some quilters mm -hmm. to get their perspectives on what makes Quilt National so special, why it's such a big deal. But from, you know, from your perspective. Yeah, you know, I'm still learning why it's such, such a big deal. Um, but I think it's so special to many of the repeat artists, so many, so many of the artists who are in it in 2021 founded the exhibition. They were part of the founding exhibition oh, in cool. 1979. So there's that reason that people are so passionate about it since it's been, it's just a compelled contemporary art world into fine arts. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the biggest reason, <laughs> but that it's existed since 1979 is really exciting. Um, it has that history. The his it's historic. And it's time honored, you know. Mm -hmm. I was examining the the uh, barn quilts on oh, the outside uh -huh. of the dairy barn, and that's something one of the other people that I talked to yesterday talked about is that the history and the tradition yeah. and the evolution of going from you know farm hands making quilts mm -hmm. to it's an art form that it is today. So right, it's it's been very exciting to be part of this process here. Yeah, and I think people do have a really deep emotional connection to quilts whether it's an art quilt, mm -hmm. or a contemporary quilt, modern quilt, or a bed quilt, mm -hmm. people have these deep commo emotional connections. And I think part of it is um, the humble beginnings of a quilt. 
-hmm. that and that when you create one you're so closely entwined with that the just, creation of it and it's it just takes, something about the fabric oh yeah <laughs> and it being a material that you as you can relate to easily mm -hmm. I find that those are other reasons why um, it's easy for visitors to relate to the artwork here awesome yeah. And Quilt National, this tripped me up almost, um, <laughs> almost. <laughs> this is, I'm a first time entrant uh -huh. to Quilt National, and um, I was almost tripped up by the restriction on these quilts can't be shown at any other quilt show. They have to be Quilt National exclusive. Yes. So what's what's, what's that all about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we want to show the newest artwork. So we also have a rule that they can't be more than two years old when you mm -hmm. submit them. We want to show the newest ones, and we want to be the first ones to show them. We want to be the premiere of that quilt. Um, and so that's, you know, we it, I think it ups, it ups the exhibition a little, yeah. ups the excitement. It definitely does. Yeah, opening <laughs> night is a big deal. It, it does make for an extra level of excitement exactly. for the show. So yeah. for any anyone watching this video, if you're planning to be a first-time entry, keep that in mind because that is an unusual restriction that is... As far as I know, specific to Quilt National, but yeah, I think so. It does. All right, Holly, thank you so much for taking a few minutes you're to talk welcome. to us today. I'm here with Deborah Bosher. So you're the president of Sakwa. I am. And what is Sakwa? Sakwa is Studio Art Quilt Associates. We're a nonprofit member organization dedicated to promoting the art quilt and art okay. quilters. We have about 4,000 members all over the world. 38 different countries have Sakwa members. And uh, our members are artists and curators and academics and collectors and uh, everybody who is interested in art quilts. So what is Sakwa's connection to Quilt National? Well, we sponsor an award at Quilt National every year, which is actually every other year since it's Quilt National is every other show. Yes. Yep. <laughs> um, so that's the Sakwa Award. And we're just really delighted to support the exhibition um, and celebrate innovative, contemporary, forward-thinking work in the art quilt form. So we're thrilled to give the opportunity for the jurors to pick um, something that fits that idea and to have that be the Sakwa Award. So I got to announce the Sakwa Award you this did? year. Yes. Um, Helen Julio's um, quilt, which is called Mender of Riffs, which is a wool piece with lots of hand stitching and metaphors and symbolism. Really, really wonderful piece. And uh, we're thrilled to honor that on behalf of Quilt National and Sakwa. And the Quilt National mission of this show is to celebrate the quilt, quilt making as an art form and not right. just a craft. Right. That meshes very well with Sakwa's own message. Absolutely. Sakwa's mission, vision, values, and goals really all are all about uh, the art quilt as fine art. Is that the tie-in to Quilt National? Is that why Quilt National is such a big deal for Sakwa? Absolutely, and really it's about the larger network of organizations and events and exhibitions that are all doing this work, all doing the work of giving people an opportunity to see art in fiber. And so we're happy to be partners in that mission. Very well said. Thank you so much, Deborah, for taking a few minutes out of Thanks, your day Kestra. to talk to I'm us happy today. To be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you with a walkthrough of Quilt National 21 as it will be on display at the Dairy Barn Arts Center through September 3rd, 2021.